What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a picture from Apollo 10. It was actually Alien Hunter that had this video. Now, don't get me wrong, the photo I'm about to show you is nothing more than a screen grab from his video, which is kind of a bad idea, right? Because first of all, when he uploads the video, it's, it's going to have photo degradation to begin with and compressed and everything from YouTube. So it's not the best photo. However, it doesn't stop us from seeing certain things in this photo. Very small things, but I'm going to show you there's much more in these photos than meets the eye as usual. If you guys haven't checked out or haven't subbed to Alien Hunter, you need to. He's got an awesome channel. Let me just jump right in. I want to show you his video, and then I'm going to show you something else I just noticed in one of his videos. All right, let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see right here, Apollo 10 out of 10, okay? Now, this video here shows it is Apollo 10 mission. You can see right there. And, of course, he does have it in HD, but it's not the best photo. What I find interesting is right here, this light. Why would they want to take a picture with light in it? Think about this a minute. Does it not throw off the details on the surface? Or was this done deliberately? Think about this a minute. I could easily artificially put that light there, which it does actually look artificial. If you look here on the right-hand side, it looks artificial. So I think this was put here to hide what's actually there. Now, if you look at this photo really well, you can see there's actually lines right here in the middle of the photo. There's lines here. There's something laying on the surface right here in front of the camera, which is really interesting. So we're going to look at that. And I'm going to bring out a couple things that I found was pretty interesting, right? Here's another one I just looked at. And you can stop it right here at 633. Look at this structure in the lower right corner. It's supposed to be inside this crater. However, there's a structure sitting right there. And it's just absolutely absurd. Now, this was probably super bright, and he brought it way down. So kudos to him for doing this. Uh, so you can actually expose these things uh, laying around. There's actually something right here, too. Right here in the middle of the photo, there's some kind of gray, looks like rectangular object. Right? But there's more in these photos. Sometimes we'll do a very long video, put yourself some music on, and just watch it. It's just awesome. This one here is uh, 17 minutes long. It's not too bad. But again, lower right corner, look at this thing. It's supposed to be a crater, and yet look what's hidden in it. A lot of cool stuff in Alien Hunter's videos. you got to check it out. Uh, and again, this one right here, which this one here is, I believe, is an hour and eight minutes. But again, throw in your own music if you're just chilling and just watch it. You'll be surprised what you find in these photos. So again, if you haven't subbed to him, go ahead and sub to his channel. I think you guys will like it. So let's just jump right into this. You can see it right here. Now, these lines I'm telling you about, there's one right here. I'm going to just kind of square it and round it off here. There's more right here. You can see something right there. Look carefully. I'm going to zoom in right here. Look at the lines, folks. I can see what looks very faint lines doing this here. There's something down the bottom here. There's some pieces right here. One, one's going like this, something here. One, two, three, something right here. You can see these things are actually being hidden in the photo. This stuff up here. You can actually see a round circle right here, right there. Very faint. Okay white square and funny enough if you back out let's get rid of these lines right from here you can see that what they've done here check this out folks let's slide it over check this out carefully look at this look at the outline of this haze they're putting on this see this hmm no that wasn't done deliberately folks look at that no not at all and of course you can see all this whole area has objects in it. We actually may do a second part of this as well, because what I'm going to try to do is get the actual photo and check it out ourselves. But just right off the bat, I wanted to show you this. You can see something in there. And funny enough, eh, not too bad here, but you can see this has actually been manipulated as well. All of this in the bottom. But the biggest stuff is in the background. You can see how the texture changes in that area alone. You got all of these kind of like features here, got craters and everything else, all of a sudden completely barren, except for something way back here. But is that a crater or something else? Let's slowly get into this. I want you to see this. All right. Brought it way down. Again, look at these areas right here. This right here. With something there. See the lines? Folks, you don't have to be an Einstein to see this stuff. Look at that. It's already popping out. Look, I'm just going to bring down the brightness. That's all I'm doing. Let's slowly keep going. And I want to show you this other side, too. 
inside here. Again, here's that round piece sitting right in the photo. Let's go ahead and zoom into that. Check that out. Look at the piece. You can see something doing this, almost like a straight line. Goes like that. Back out. Let's keep going. And I actually changed this up a little bit too, the way I was trying to enhance this so that we could see this a little bit better. Again, folks, we are dealing with, again, uploading to YouTube, compression from them alone. The photos are not the best to begin with, but we can see these pieces in there regardless. Okay. Keep going. You can see where it changes right here. I tried to bring down this whole whited area to see if we can get a better look. You can see that. Again, we can still see this. Let's keep going. Now I'm trying to bring up the whiter pots that are actually in this photo. And you can see right here, right here, these other pieces. There's a long piece right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's so, it looks like something like that there, right? Okay, let's keep going. Check this out, folks. What are we seeing here? What is this object right here? See that? And you can actually see that starting to come out right there. What is that? Brighten it up a little bit. Let's keep going. Again, brighten it. Like I said before, anything that's got a, like a, a white signature to it will definitely pop out. You can see these didn't come out as much, but you can see something's in there. It looks like some kind of arch shape feature. You can still see an outline, and I'm not so sure if that's completely made of blur right here. You can see it right here. It looks like it's null of any information. But let's keep going. Okay. Again, this is supposed to look like some kind of crater, and clearly it is not. Again, they know how to doctor these things up. We were able to bring out some small parts of this or these items in the back here. You can see that. See how that round piece is now something else. See that? And you can see the outline to this piece right here. Something that looks like it's doing this here. Let's keep going. Black and white it. Get rid of the colors for distortion. Again, for the likes of me, I can't understand why they would have this light right here. Why would they do that knowing that it's going to distort the photo unless this was put in after the photos to try to hide more of it? Okay, this is the actual end result. Not a whole lot, but you can see those areas actually have some kind of shapes in them right here. And you can see where it's really cut off right there. So I'm not so sure if that's actually manipulation and blurring purposely blurred areas. Something up here. Something's doing this. And you can see all these other white little features. Something right here. There. And again, not a crater. No way. Again, they make the areas look all flat so that you cannot see them. What is this mess? The only thing you can come up with, it's actually structures, as large as they are, right? Something looks like it's standing up right here. I'm not so sure what this is right here. See that? Is that in the original photo? Just barely. See it? Right there. Again, folks, we may have a second part to this because I really want to drag this stuff out and bring it out big time. This whole area, and you can see I have not even finished this whole area, but you can see it. Look at the blurring. I don't even have to do anything to this photo. Look at it. You can see where they've actually done this and put their own compression artifacts, blurring, so on and so forth. They made this look like a, a crater, which I don't believe that it is. Almost looks like it's got a pipe sticking out right there. You see that? Let me just zoom into that. See that right there? Pretty interesting. Very faint, but it's there, right? Oh, yeah. Folks, there's no way that this is natural. Even if we were to go back to this, again, look at the lines in here, right here. They're in the photo. Just bringing them down. See that? They're in the photo. They're hiding the stuff. And again, this whole area right here, you can actually see a little bit of detail and then completely blurred out here. See that right there? If I do this, 
check that out. It's still there. So what are we looking at here, folks? What are we actually looking at? If I was just to do one stage of this and just start to bring it down, it's right there. Uh, just a random square, other stuff like this. Come on. Come on. Let's be honest here. They've been lying about these photos for quite some time. There you go right there. Now, let me show you something interesting. If we were to go to this and just let it play out, watch this. Now, many people will say, well, that's glass. I get the idea of the glass. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is where's the light coming from? Did they purposely put a light right over that window so that it can glaze over it in case in the event that they had to hide this stuff? It looks like something that's on it or they put this whiteness over this. I mean, clearly they're looking through the glass, right? We, we can see that. But I'm wondering if they put this in after, made this kind of like haze over this photo in this particular area. Or they had their own light source so that it would actually intentionally do this so you didn't see. If you look over here, right here on the right hand side of this, right there the photo, just out of the light beam, if you will, says so clearly this has been put in or it's a light right outside the window. And again, I don't know why any photographer would want to take a photo to do that. But on the right hand side, you can see it's pretty plain. It looks pretty decent because there's not a whole lot there, right? We did show you some stuff. But this whole section right here, completely gone. Why would they do that? You're literally taking a, a video of the moon surface and yet let's cloud it up with some light? Come on. Like I said, they knew that this light source was going to actually reflect off the window. So let's turn it on. We'll take the real photo or the real video and then we'll have the real thing and then we'll take one for the public. We'll go ahead and put a light on. It'll glare off the glass and there you go. Come on, man. Look at this. This is crazy. Listen, it simply makes no sense. NASA's not going to go up there and say, hey, do me a favor, right? See what you guys can do about taking the most lousiest photos you can or videos of the moon's surface. This would be great. In fact, I want so much light on this so it kind of screws with us. We can't see any detail. Come on. These are like the smartest people on the planet here, folks. They're not going to allow that to happen. You and I both know that. It just, it just doesn't make sense at all. Really doesn't make sense. Anyway, folks, check this out. And like I said, there may be a second part to this. We're going to really get into this thing and uh, we'll tear it apart a little bit more. But there you go. Folks, I said this many times before. They use a lot of different ways to distort a photo, cover over a photo. A good example, the light source. Why would anybody do that? Any photographer knows you can't do that. So what would be the point? The glass I get. But where's the light coming from? It looks like it's, a, it's literally outside the window to glare onto the glass. That's not moonlight. You can actually see a ray of light. Now, either that's an actual light outside that window or they put that in there to distort and, and filter out what they don't want you to see. It's as simple as that. As always, guys, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share it. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, got more stuff coming up. I think I got one more coming up before the holidays. We'll see if we can squeeze that one in. Again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.